The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered a series of baffling cosmic structures that challenge our long-held assumptions about how the universe evolved. In fact, Webb's findings contradict established theories so starkly that, by current, understanding these discoveries shouldn't even be possible. As a result, the standard model of cosmology is facing growing scrutiny, with an increasing number of scientists beginning to question whether the universe could truly have originated from the much-discussed Big Bang, but what exactly did Webb detect out in the vastness of space? And if the Big Bang wasn't the universe's beginning, then what was? To explore these profound questions, we first need to address a fundamental one. What lies at the edge of the universe, and how is it structured? The honest answer is, we simply don't know, and that's not surprising when you consider that we're not even certain whether a definitive edge to the universe exists. Despite all the advancements in space travel, robotic probes, and sophisticated telescopes, the overall shape and full extent of the cosmos remain one of the biggest mysteries. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe may be spherical in form, but that's just one hypothesis among many. Some scientists consider alternative shapes, like a torus donut shaped or even a trumpet-like structure. This leads to a logical question. How can something infinite be enclosed in a defined shape? While the terms universe and infinity are often used together, the truth is, we don't yet know whether infinity accurately describes reality. It's crucial to understand the distinction between infinite and unbounded. In principle, the universe could have a finite volume but still be without boundaries. Is that a contradiction? Not necessarily. Experts often use the analogy of an ant walking on the surface of a balloon. The ant can wander endlessly in any direction without ever reaching an edge. To the ant, it would seem like an infinite space, even though the balloon is finite. Still, this example is just a simplified illustration. Unlike a balloon, the universe isn't thought to exist within a higher dimensional space at least not according to classical cosmology, thought the edge of the universe even with so many unanswered questions. It's reasonable to suggest that our universe may have an edge or at least that our observable universe does. According to the cosmological principle, the universe appears the same in every direction and from any location. Based on this, we can imagine a spherical region around Earth that defines the limit of what we can observe dot now, considering that the Big Bang happened around 13.8 billion years ago. One might assume that the edge of our observable universe lies 13.8 billion light years away. But that's not accurate. We must remember that the universe isn't static. It's been expanding since its very beginning, not expanding into pre existing space but causing space itself to grow. Because of this expansion, the light from distant objects has traveled across space that has stretched over time. That means the true distance to the cosmic horizon is much greater than 13.8 billion light years. It's about 46.6 billion light years. The most distant objects we can now observe were just 40 million light years away from us when they first formed, but since they've long since crossed the event horizon, we can't say what's happening there now. What we do see is a glimpse into the deep past dot as for what lies beyond this observable region, that's still a matter of speculation. Some scientists believe the unobservable regions of the universe resemble the parts we can see. Others argue that unimaginable structures could exist out there far beyond the reach of our current technology. Dot the impossible discoveries of the James Webb Telescope present and future of space exploration now revolve around Webb. Launched into space on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic radiation than its predecessor, Hubble. Theoretically, it could even detect the heat signature of a bumblebee on the moon from Earth. But of course, its mission is far more profound. Webb was built to observe the first luminous structures and galaxies that emerged after the Big Bang and the so called cosmic dark ages. And so far, it's exceeded expectations. The initial images released in July 2020 to stun the world. They displayed unprecedented detail and unveiled regions that had remained hidden from Hubble. 
Webb also added some of the oldest galaxies ever. Observed to our celestial maps some dating back to just 290 million years after the Big Bang, but these awe-inspiring images are just one side of the story. Webb has also found objects that should not, by current models, exist at all. The whole saga began quietly with six small points of light. These became known as the Universe Breakers and signal the start of what may be the greatest cosmological crisis of our time. Why? Because when a team from Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne examined Webb's early infrared data near the Big Dipper, they noticed something strange. Six reddish light sources estimated to be over 13 billion years old based on their redshift. This meant they had formed just 500 to 700 million years after the universe's birth. Further analysis confirmed these were early galaxies. But there was a major problem they were already as massive and developed as the Milky Way is today. This defied all expectations. Scientists had predicted only small, immature galaxies at such an early cosmic stage. Yet these structures had stellar masses over 10 billion solar masses and in one case, over 100 billion. How could this be? At that point in cosmic history, there shouldn't have been enough matter or time for such development. Initially, astronomers suspected errors in the data, but no, repeated checks confirmed the findings. Even if just one of these galaxies were genuine, it would be enough to throw current cosmological theory into disarray. For these galaxies to exist, the density of matter in the early universe would have had to be up to five times higher than previously believed. Alternatively, the galaxies must have formed in a completely unknown way, either possibility challenges. The core of what we thought we understood about how the universe evolved, and these weren't isolated incidents. Since then, Webb has identified even more such impossible objects including, as recently as May, a galaxy ten times more massive than the Milky Way that formed astonishingly early in the universe's history. Is the Big Bang Theory still viable? Altogether, these discoveries are shaking confidence in the standard model of cosmology. Researchers are increasingly exploring alternative explanations to the Big Bang model. Some are conventional, others more speculative. Could our universe be nestled inside a black hole? Might it be just one node in a never-ending chain of universes? Or are we perhaps living inside a vast simulation? One major theory that offers a twist on the Big Bang is the Big Crunch. It proposes that gravity will eventually reverse the universe's expansion, causing everything to collapse in on itself essentially a reverse Big Bang, a related idea. Is the Big Bounce, which suggests that our universe is part of an eternal cycle, collapse, rebound, and creation of a new universe. Another compelling idea comes from physicist Nikodem Popovsky at the University of New Haven. According to his theory, our universe could have originated from within a black hole, initially existing as a dense, compact seed containing tens of billions of solar masses. This object eventually reached a limit where it could no longer compress further and exploded outward, giving rise to our universe. Despite how intriguing. These ideas are, they still leave us with profound, unresolved questions. What existed before? Was there a before at all? And how can something emerge from nothing? These are mysteries that lie far beyond our current understanding and perhaps always will. But the pursuit of answers continues, guided by the discoveries of telescopes like Webb and the curiosity that has always driven humanity to look up at the stars.